DGM Insights Wow, your view of sex can be healthy. So we've recently moved um, uh, states because of employment, and um, I'm now in Colorado, which is a great experience. It's back to be home. Um, I've spent a number of years in Colorado, and it, it's a great experience. Their culture is great. Um, so I watched a video uh, somewhere along the road, and it uh, struck me as creepy. Um, in fact, I put the script for this under creepy um, because it's a... Uh, the woman now, she, she's British and she's a journalist, and at the time I believe she was pregnant, but she gave the view that casual sex, women get less out of casual sex than men, and her views about relationships were, to say the least, unhealthy. And this was uh, considered an expert, and that's kind of like appeal to authority, logic fallacy. If you've ever watched the videos, you'll understand what I'm saying, but she... Uh, she believed that sex should be part of a relationship and should be used only within the relationship and to get what you want as a female out of the relationship. Now, I don't do these videos without my wife's permission, so before I get a thousand emails saying anything, I just want to let you know I'm talking to my wife about this too. But this brings down to two different roads. The first road is a conservative view, a um, kind of bizarre um, control view. And so I just want to read real quick a note I made. I said the video is about sex and the views of sex by two different roads. On the one road, sex is healthy and happy and can be part of a healthy relationship with someone or it can be part of a healthy interpersonal experience. That means that uh, some have a positive view of sex. It can be a healthy thing for you personally or within your relationships. The other view is that it's some sort of product, some sort of... Um, base commodity that can be sold and bought and there are women who do that all the time uh, your guy buys his girlfriend a ring she sleeps with him that night and what do you think he's buying he's buying sexual favors you know, certainly he would need that if the relationship was strong so um that's another view is that it's a manipulation tool now there are uh, vast amount of research that shows that that's very unhealthy if you think sex should be part of uh, manipulation tool and there was a woman who told men on the first date that her only interest in dating was to get married and have kids and kids were her first priority and uh, she didn't get very many second dates it was kind of funny she was pretty but she couldn't get anybody to date her so you ask her well why can't you get dates and she said i don't know i'm just wonderful i have this job and i do this and i do that and then you find out on the first date she's telling guys her main motive is reproduction you know something that uh, um, even a guy who wants reproduction doesn't want to hear that. There are guys who do want children. And the more that things go on, it's becoming more and more acceptable to be later in life. So there's a woman in her 40s and 50s that are having kids. And there are men who want their kids too because they spent their lifetime working or they spent their lifetime enjoying their life. So now they want to have that, that experience. And it's a wonderful experience. I have children. And it's a wonderful experience. But So those are the two different roads. And so the one road you have is that sex is some sort of commodity, some sort of product. And that has a lot of bad things to it. And, then, and it's some, some good, I'm, I'm sure. But um, the other road is that sex can be a healthy thing within a relationship. And sex is a healthy thing for a person individually and their interpersonal experiences in life. Which are all, you, all happiness is about your experiences in life. So um, that is the other road.